Hansen and Adam Sonny. Come on, Adam. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Quick talk at you from the referee. The main event, Adam Saleh versus Marcus Stevenson. Right, well, this could be fascinating. We've got a very, very, uh, you know, I've used the word flash. Yeah. Adam Saleh, but uh, remind me a lot of uh, someone else from Yemen, Prince Nassim Hamad. You can't stop him. Another, another flip there for us. And the interesting thing is I've seen so much of, of uh, Stephen, it doesn't make sense. You know, he's, yeah. a, he's a very decent kid. He can fight. Okay. And you've got to know whether this, uh, the fact that uh, Charlie's boxing for the very first time, yeah. you know, it makes me wonder. Yeah. I mean, he's not taking an easy fight here, has he? He's fighting a, a seasoned pro almost Absolutely. Now. I've seen Adam beat some very good lads. Very proud of his heritage. Great exchange, that. Absolutely. And the thing about Adam, he does, uh, sorry, my apologies, about uh, Marcus, he takes a very good whack. Yeah. You know, I've only ever seen him on the floor once, that was a body shot. Um, but, you know, he, he's very useful. Got a good chin on him. Yeah, oh yeah. He can bang a bit too. Yeah, Adam, Adam's looking in great shape. I've been watching his uh, social media post. Uh -huh. He's been training very hard for this fight. He's not been taking this lightly at all. And neither should he. I mean, the ideal scenario would be a Sally win. But. Yeah. But indeed. You know, he's up against a decent kid. Yeah. This place is rock, Steve. It certainly is. It's rocking. Oh. Great exchange again. I mean, it all started, didn't it? From the kids that right at the very beginning, Abdullah. Yeah. You know. Ooh. No, that, that, that wasn't a knockdown. That was just a stumble. Okay, nothing there. It's a little bit of a trip. It's not the first trip that we've seen today. No, absolutely not. Oh, an interesting first Good. round. Not much in it. A bit tentative. In all the other fights we've seen, they've kind of gone hammer and ton straight away and tried to uh, track each other up. Come on, Adam! So just to remind you then that uh, Marcus Stevenson in the black and gold shorts in action here against Adam Sully. And one thing about Adam, uh, about because I will say, yeah. he's incredibly sporting. Oh, lovely right hand. Well, lovely right hand there. there we go. Stevenson. Yeah, that was a good Take shot. Away. You did say he can hit one. He's got a good punch. He's got a good chin. Uh, it's not going to be an easy night for Adam Saleh, but we've seen how hard he's been training, and uh, he looks okay. He yes. looks okay. Yes. Just a flash knockdown. But a knockdown nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah, and now Marcus is on the hunt. And I hate to say it, but uh, Adam's on the run. Absolutely. And, and the problem, I, I think that... Oh, great right hand! Great left hand! He's got him a few good times there. The question I've got is, does Adam hit hard enough to deter Stevenson? Yeah. I mean, as you said, Stevenson's got a, a really good chin on him, so it's going to have to be a really good shot to even make him stumble at the moment. Let's face it, anyone can get put over, can't they? Absolutely. Adam using the left jab very well. Yeah. 
and the irony is it's actually very close despite the knockdown. Yeah. You know, he, he might have hit the deck, but he's ringing around. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. If it wasn't for that knockdown, I would have said he won that round easily. And into round three after scheduled six. So, Adam Sully got off the floor in the second round. Oh, yes. And won the round. Clever boxing. Oh. Well, that won't go down very well no. with this crowd. Not with this crowd. Adam, focus, Adam. Referee telling him one more time and we will take a point off Absolutely. you. Absolutely, at least so. Yeah, Yassine El Machi. Oh, well dodged, well dodged. A wild swing there from Marcus. Yeah, my problem with Marcus is I don't really think I doubt what he wants to be. You know, is he going to be an aggressive fighter? Yeah. A defensive fighter? A bit of both? You know, I don't think he really knows. Oh, lovely, lovely. Adam Saleh showing a lot of skill here at the moment. Indeed. Dodging and weaving, using that jab. But, but what gets me, Abdullah, is the fact that he's never boxed before. No, it's seen. That's a lot of time in the ring in New York. Yeah, it shows a lot of hard training went down in his uh, in his camp. Oh, what an uppercut! Great left uppercut there from Adam Saleh. But again, he doesn't seem to be uh, he should seem to be much bothered much by by uh, Adam Saleh's power. Yeah. Seems to be able to absorb it almost. Point behind on my card. And Adam Sully at boxing really well. And not, not, you know, not only that, we've said it before. He's actually, oh, brilliant. He's giving weight away. Uh, Adam Sully is boxing him off, off the park here. I mean, dodging him, weaving him, hitting him. And Marcus can't really touch him now since that knockdown. Yeah. He's a natural, isn't he? 26 years of age. Yeah. You know, if he'd have only done this 10 years ago. I agree with you. He looks good. He doesn't look amateurish at all, does he? No. He looks seasoned. Yes. This is the most skill we've seen from a fighter today. The way he's he's dodging his punches and and blocking and defending and then attacking is, is quite brilliant to watch actually. Yeah. Nice right again. Oh, you're you're absolutely a thousand percent right. You know, the, no one has come up to the the ability level no. of Adam here tonight at all. He's hit the, he's hit him a few times now. Um, it's just a matter of power now because he's not knocked him down. But I guess if he had more power, he would have done by now. Yeah, absolutely. There's no way to put Marcus over. Yeah. Another good round there for Adam. Adam. Adam wins that round, I think, for me, hands down. Oh, that his audience is so loyal to him, and they've come out here. Not all of them are from London. Some of them are from. The north, from the east, from the west of the country, and they're all here to watch and support him tonight. And he's a nice guy too. Absolutely lovely guy. Anyway, here we go into round five. This is the penultimate round. And uh, to be honest with you, I mean, I've got Marcus behind by a couple of rounds now, so he needs both of these to yeah. draw, which is unlikely. He's knocked Adam down before. It could happen again. That's what he needs. Yeah. Yeah, but Adam got up. Yeah.
So Marcus Stevenson then still. So he's, he's looking a bit on the frustrated side to be yeah, honest. He is. Yeah, th this is a movable target, you know. He's, he's not going to stand there and, and be whacked, you know. He's going to yeah. get on his bike and be smart. I think after he knocked him down, he thought he would, he would make an easy night of it. But he's just finding it difficult yeah. to actually touch him now. That's a very good point. And the funny thing is, the knockdown could have been the worst thing he did. And Adam's not just standing there and exchanging punches with him. He's hitting him and moving and then hitting him and moving. And he definitely seems the fitter of the two. And he's got a very sneaky style, isn't he, Adam? Yeah. Well, he calls himself the KO King. He had to see a KO from him. Unless he borrowed those shorts from someone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, big, big there from Adam Saleh. Yeah, but look at Stevenson. What do you think that was? Yeah. But Marcus, you know, he's, he's one of these guys. He's very gracious in defeat. You know, he, he'll be the first one to congratulate him. A proper Brit. Yeah. Yeah, we know, hey, we know how to lose. Yeah, 100%. We've had a bit, haven't we? Yeah, tell me about it. And it's been a cracking night, this. Oh, cracking afternoon, really. Yeah. Don't forget, you know, you know, this is an Amir Khan promotion in association with the Amir Khan Foundation. They've raised money for a very good cause. And it's been a fantastic, entertaining day. So, oh, Adam, wow. Adam Sully in the leopard skin trunk against Marcus Stevenson. And uh, despite the slip from Saleh early on, you know, when he got put on the floor in the second round. He's, he's not put a foot wrong. Fantastic boxing this from Adam Saleh. Hit and move, that's what he's doing. Yeah, Saleh is a different club altogether, isn't he? I mean, if I didn't know who Adam Saleh was and you told me he was a professional box full time, yeah, you I, I would have believed you. But he just needs to be careful. One big shot from Marcus and oh, yeah. the whole fight can turn on his head. Yeah. Well, we saw that earlier, we? We did. This is all about who wants it most. Yeah. And there's no way Adam can let that down. He made a lot of promises before this fight, yeah. Adam Saleh. So far, he's keeping them. He has, yes. Well, there's uh, not a whole lot of time. Now that one big punch from uh, Marcus Stimson to land, although he got through the left hook there. Times against him. Yeah, he's got to do something now, hasn't he? He's got to take a risk. You know, the target's on the move. He's been hit. And there's the final bell. Six rounds completed. Let's see what the judges thought. Right, let's head over to the ring for the decision.